Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I thought I'd better share this. It was put up on the 3rd, actually. And I just found it in my email. Uh, the, the channel is called Diamond Disc by uh, the lady that has this channel. Her name is Celeste Solem. And... She has a critical update, and it, it's, you may have heard it, but um, I'm just going to play a little bit of it. It's only 516, but uh, I may play it all. Just, just listen. It's not very good news for some of us. Hi, this is Celeste, and this is the Celestial Report. Actually, it's a breaking news special report for March 3rd, 2020. And yes, I do look tired because I was up most of the night doing research, one thing leading to another. Anyway, I was listening to a broadcast by Vice President Pence, our coronavirus um person and he had some people speaking and he had a woman from CMS and if you're not familiar with CMS that is the regulatory agency for health insurance and for vulnerable populations and basically this woman I I can't remember if her name was Seema I should have written it down but quite frankly it's been a crazy morning and I'm sure you understand. And she's she invoked the emergency clause. Now, the emergency clause has already, as far as the general um, suspension of the Constitution for medical martial law, has been decreed by the vice president and alluded to by the president. But this was the person in charge of insurance. And I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Insurance and vulnerable regulatory um, agencies and vulnerable populations. Who is a vulnerable population? The elderly, um, the disabled, um, people living in poverty, and children. Um, okay, I'll just go ahead and stop it there. <laughs> Do you know how many people there are that are, like, in that category? I don't know, but I know it's a lot. There are so many people. That's why Tessa's having a hard time getting on disability, because so many people are already on it. Even though when we worked, we paid into it. It was supposed to be a type of health insurance for disability and retirement. Or when a man dies, it pays his wife until the children are grown. So much per child. I used to get it for my girls, not based on my illness and disability, based on their father's death. The check was higher than it was based on my income. They give you the higher of the two. So see, all those people are on it. Okay. Now, I think... This is a good time to share with you something that I got at the doctor's office today. Let me tell you what they want me to uh, want wanted me to get. Here's what they wanted me to get. One Shringrix shri vaccine. I'm pretty sure that's for um, shingles. Oh, HCV screening. One time only. Now. I don't even know what that is. I have to look it up. But they wanted me to have one dose of the uh, shingles vaccine. Tetanus, diphtheria, every 10 years, do now. Vaccine, tetanus, diphtheria, and acellular pertussis. Since when do adults get that? I got those things as the... You got that as a baby. Diphtheria, pertussis. Anyway, one time only. Now. So we're all supposed to get a booster of that, I guess. Or maybe it's based on age. I don't know. 
uh, DTaP vaccine, influenza vaccine, one year, every year. They have me down as having it on 831 2019. I never got it. Uh, I don't know what that is. Comprehensive review. I guess. I don't know. I it's. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and then other screenings. Okay, so that's how many I said. Shingles, tetanus, uh, DTP. And influenza. Four vaccines they wanted me to have. I said, no, thank you. I don't, I'm not taking any vaccinations. They can't, they can't scare me. I don't need any vaccinations. I already know what they do to you. And now this comes out. I see this today. I mean, thank God. Thank God our almighty God that he is in control we can know and have the peace that passes all understanding knowing that no matter what Satan's plans are to depopulate us all they're going to be depopulated too I mean, yeah, a lot of people will die, and they'll die in their sins if they don't repent, and they're caught in a big earthquake at the sixth seal. Well, that, there, that happens, and then the multitude too large to number appears in heaven. So I'm hoping that it's a simultaneous event. Because I know that after the first rapture, there's going to be a lot of repenting going on when babies and pets are snatched right out of your house. And there are people doing things they just don't think is really a bad sin. And why would Jesus not love me for that? And, well, I don't know. You ask him, how holy, how holy are you? Do you think you're holy? Nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of heaven. So I hope that if anybody sees this that's doing anything that makes their temple unholy, that you will get on your knees and beg him to help you stop it. Just stop it. It's hard. It's hard, and, and you can get help on a lot of the addicting things. There's help available. How much do you love Jesus? How much? We want to be ready to get out of here, don't we? You have to love him most. And you can say, well, I do, I do, but... But? You going to take a chance? On being left. I hope you won't. I hope you won't. And and I'm so proud of all of you that have quit smoking. And the growth you've made. And I can tell it in your comments. That a lot of you have. Now some of the people I don't hear from anymore. So I don't know if they got swept up into once saved, always saved. And the grace, you know, the hyper grace stuff and, you know, couldn't listen to me anymore. I don't know. It's kind of sad, you know, when you see somebody and they start making progress and then you don't see them anymore. But anyway, I'm going to end this here and I'll leave the link. Now, for those of you who cannot see the links... It's diamond disc, all small letters, all one word, a, just like a diamond on your finger, a diamond disc, D-I-S-C. And it's called Celeste Solum dash emergency clause invoked 
for Vulnerable Populations, News Update 3320. Okay, so I'll leave the link for this, and you can listen to the rest of it, what, they, what, what she says they're going to do, and how you need to stay at home. If you're in a vulnerable population, you're better off staying at home and treating yourself with what you can get to have on hand. And... Of course, she says if you have trouble breathing, you have to just decide, you know, do I want to risk, you know, going or not. Anyway, remember what I said. God is in control. You keep reading Psalm 91, pray it over your family. Or yourself if you're single and alone every night. All right? It promises no plague or pestilence shall enter into my home. Though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me. I am, for I will only look on with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. And I believe it, and I ha and I hold to it. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every single one of you, your devices, and your internet connection, so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And I just pray that we are all counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Remember that. Luke 21, 36. Okay? All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.